Oh, hey. Didn't quite see it there, and I don't think you can see me. Jokes aside, I got a really awesome product right now, and this is actually sponsored. So already, thanks a lot to Newer, and it is blinding me right here, but I hope the video is a bit better than normal, that the focus is more on me and not on the background. So I don't have to blur my whole background again. That was really annoying last video. Um, but again, I got an awesome project that I want to show you, and it is the Newer LED panel. So let's get it right here. Okay, it's quite heavy on the stand. Um, and I think I'll turn down the brightness a bit. So that's also pretty cool. Um, you can adjust this pretty easily on the fly. Oh. Not quite. Not quite. That's better. I'm still kind of finding where the um, But this is in that panel. Um, and I'll just disable it for now. It's, it's fine. Yep. And it is pretty cool. And it has a ton of features. So let's get it off this stand real quick. And also, I received this in the box, of course. Like, it's a box, it's pretty simple, but hey, it works. And I didn't really have a stand. I do have one for my camera itself, but of course, I need it for my camera itself. And Nero was actually kind enough to send a whole lighting stand. Like, this thing can go up to two and a half meters, which is higher than a fucking room. Um, it is really solid, and that's pretty awesome, and it, it was needed. I didn't really <laughs> like the idea of, like, having this somewhere in my room, but hey, it worked. So what is this flipping light panel? Right now it's closed, and I'll show you some of the basics. So the power is out. Um, it's really easy, you can put this on double batteries, so you can use it wirelessly, that's also pretty cool. And you can just add the power. Um, here's something for the... Here's a, 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 the... Here's a knob, you can control stuff with it, just going to show you in a second. Um, Here's another knob, and here's a button, which lets you switch modes. And of course you want to see what it does, and I kind of forgot. Um, so let's turn it on. Let's enlighten my room. And let's take control. So, first of all here is the... Uh, it's on color mode. So you got party mode, I think you already saw this in the beginning. Um, and you can have multiple modes, like you have this one, which is like bright, and then this one is just cycling through them, which again, it's it's pretty cool. Um, so next, next mode, this is just white, so you have the white balance, you have the brightness here. It goes all the way up to 100, so of course it goes up to 100, but it's really fucking bright. Like this power brick, power brick comes does with it. it, it's rated for... For 60 watts, so 60 watts of LEDs is pretty insane, and the color output is awesome. So it's of course the basic general white stuff. I already, it, it looks awful now. Like I got this, it's it is pretty bright, um, but of course it's nothing compared to the big guy. Like this is a lot more powerful, and it's it's just awesome. Um, so you got a ton of modes. Let me switch one right now. So this is the color mode. Um, the controls for the color mode isn't the best in this one because you have just one slider for the color and one for the brightness. Um, but of course it has Bluetooth because why not? Everyone has Bluetooth. Um, so you can connect with the app and it's still connected? Nope. If you change it to these controls, turn it off and on again, simply go back and then reconnect to the stand, uh, to the light stand, um, to the light, and then you can control everything again. Jesus, that's bright. Um, and well, you can change anything on here with a bit more clarity. So you can see you got the whole colors uh, thing right here. So you can change to whatever you want. Um, you can change the brightness, but I don't know how. <laughs> Uh, I, you can just adjust, adjust the brightnesses of each individual one, I think. Like, yeah, that works. Uh, oh, wait, it's just... Oh, I'm an idiot. So again, here, choose the color. Um, you can change the U. Uh, so that's like going around all the colors. You can change the saturation so it becomes more saturated and like the individual color. And right here we have the brightness. And that can make it pretty bright. I have no idea how this will show on camera, but I hope it will be interesting at least. 
Um, so here you can circle the use. Boy, but that's some brightest pink. Um, so yeah, this is pretty cool. And how I will use this, of course, let's not put it on red. Um, what color would I be? Like, if I have this from the side, um, of course not this bright. Um, but if I got it, which which color should it take? Please let me know in the comments below. I'll go, go through some. Um, sorry if I'm blinding you. Um, I'm going to put this on the stand. All right, so um, yeah, colors. So this will be from the side, so it will like have to focus on me. I saw this on a video of Mr. Who's the Boss that this is possible. And yeah, I just contacted some producers of LED panels and Neewer was like, hell yeah, we are going to sponsor this dude. So again, thanks, links are in the description below. Really appreciate it. But we got some color modes, like I can make myself very red. I don't think this will be that nice. I think like a bluish color, like this is dark blue, this is light blue. It's a bit more whitish, so that might be nice. Or maybe somewhere in the purple range. Like where is purple? Is this, this is purple, right? A bit, bit, bit more bluish. Yeah, so this is also interesting. And uh, you can also have green. You can have two more minutes before my video will stop. Um, <laughs> So let's give it a two minutes. Um, so yeah, what color would be best for like having me highlight it? Of course, in editing, I will also look at this. I haven't tried anything with this, just annoy my roommates because hey, it has party modes and this is just blinding. <laughs> it is awesome to wake people up with it. They don't like it. Um, you got also a flashlight. Um, this one, which is more annoying. This one, which is, I uh, just fading that. That's fine. You got a police mode. Why? Um, you have this. This is um, a blue white fading. We have this one, which is, which color is it? That that's red and yellow. It's really blinding me. And then um, party mode, like just for fun. Why not? Uh, you can adjust the brightness. So now it is actually bearable for me to watch it, which is nice. Um, so I also could change the brightness, of course. And if we have a simple color, um, let's say purple, we can also change the brightness. So you can have red, which is really extreme. And then have the brightness. This is really bright. This is less bright. And again, that, that's pretty cool. Like, I love to see in editing how this actually turns out because I haven't seen this. I've only played around with it a bit, but I wanted to keep this stuff for the video. Uh, but I think this will wrap up the video. There isn't much more to talk about it. So there isn't a whole lot more to talk about. Like this is a LED panel and this is an awesome stand. Um, again, appreciation for sending it out. They shipped out this LED panel first and then shipped out the stand separately. So that's really appreciated. Um, thanks, Niewer. Again, links in the description. And a little uh, spoiler for next video. We got some sick consoles coming up. I got five consoles right here and one more coming that should arrive tomorrow. So I can make some videos about these retro consoles. And maybe in a month or so, I also get a new setup with a mixer for my microphone. Um, so again, stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoy it. There will be some MMA data content later on, but right now, tech is more of my interest. Um, but of course, MMA later videos will follow in the future. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. See ya. I got four, I got, I, got, I, got, uh, I got five consoles right here and one more coming that should arrive tomorrow.